You are enjoying a holiday in the summer, but after having your favorite food you got sick. You back home and lying in your bed. Your favorite food you had on your trip starts hating it, and just thinking even after days make you feel sick. Your brain had a meaningless connection of food, with sickness. This is known as food aversion. A part of classical conditioning. When two things happened closely a connection is formed. And now your brain doesn't need an actual pulse, to make you feel the same again. Just the food can trigger you. But here is the more interesting thing, now you start looking for a cause that makes you sick. You remembered that you saw a deer in a creepy house, on your trip and making a connection with your sickness. You start seeing a pattern in random, and meaningless events. This is known as apophenia. Apophenia is linked to superstition, and conspiracy theories. Yet we all find patterns in meaningless things. But why? We make meaningless connections. B.F. Skinner explained we find patterns based on past experiences, or if someone is given verbal advice about. In other words, your patterns are not entirely random. Look at this inkblot made by Rorschach. In this inkblot, you are not going to see the unknown object. The object you are going to see obviously known to you. Let's take another example. Suppose you're constantly hearing a voice from distance and feeling something approaching you but you ignored thinking this is just a heavy wind. Now you are disbelieving a pattern when it is actually there. This is known as false negative. And the more dangerous state that can even cost your life. Biologists explain that whenever the cost of believing a false pattern is less than the cost of disbelieving a real pattern, natural selection will favor apophenia. This increases your survival and reproduction. Your brain and you can make meaningless connections, but they are not always meaningless, they make connections to save you.